just got to claw it in. So if there's a warthog in there, she's going to definitely try and dig it out. The thing of lionesses hunting by themselves, they've got to revert to these kind of things. But look who has pitched up again. Two hyenas. So what happened this morning, we were actually committing to a leopard sighting further south of us and on the way we heard some impala alarm calling, came to check and this lone sark lioness was here. She turned around, walked past our vehicle and then she all of a sudden her attention turned towards the shallow termite mount. So maybe there's a warthog down there. Definitely something in there. Mm. No doubt about it. Sharp reaction towards movement down in the burrow. Hold on tight, folks. Let's see what happens. Impala might be alarm calling for her, but also for another predator. That's why she's checking around, just to make double sure. There was in fact tracks for a male leopard behind us this morning, so you never know if he's present. So the hyenas did realize, well, there's no food over here. Potentially she might catch something, so there's a chance that they're not far from here just watching her. They did lose interest pretty quickly. She's already started to pant, expending quite a bit of energy trying to dig out this animal. So she must sense that it's close because otherwise she would have given up. Things has quieted down now with regards to the impala and the zebra that was in the area. She's not so attentive anymore to her surroundings as she were earlier <coughs> on. Let's see if that last attempt drives her to continue digging. She must be a little bit tired at the moment. Well, that's what we think. Now this line is, is fatiguing quite a bit. She's been digging for close to half an hour to no avail. It looked like there was times that she got very close. But she certainly deserves this meal. You can see she's quite hungry as well. If you look at the abdomen, it looks fairly shallow there. If you might revert to wait silently in ambush right outside the entrance. That's what leopards typically will do. She's lions typically more intrusive, more stronger carnivore try to dig out the animal. 
which he's tired now, so who knows? You never know if the water will just dash out of the burrow and escape. And upon escaping, she might grapple it. You did hear a warthog squealing there in the background. She's holding on. Well done, girl. Resilience and patience paid off. Lots of energy expended during this amount of digging. Wow, that's exhilarating. Whew. But she's got it. It's almost like a sigh of relief. That's very true. The sock lioness looking quite pleased with herself and she absolutely deserves this meal. She waited and fought for quite a long time to get that animal out. But wow, we didn't expect that this morning. That's the beauty of being out here in this part of the Greater Kruger. Anything can happen at any given time. So from here, maybe she'll pick it up and move it into some shade. It is late in the morning, it's going to start warming up and there is a tawny eagle sitting in the tree next to her, so she might feel that she would hide it somewhere in some thick bush. But the young warthog that it is, she could be finished before the end of business, giving her a chance to avoid an onslaught of hyenas you did see in the previous sighting where she was on a kudu kill that this lioness didn't hold back in trying to face off those hyenas but she doesn't want that, it's not ideal oh yeah. marvellous sighting and thanks for watching we're going to be leaving this lioness with her meal hard fought for meal I'm coming to you from the Timbervati Game Reserve. This is Christoph Skumann. Once again, thanks for watching and tuning in. Subscribe if you do like this video and ring all the bells. I'll see you next time. Cheers for now.